Hello friends and welcome to lot of tech once again and today's video will be on some of the best android launchers that you can try in 2018 and uh, you may find that some of these launchers are really very unconventional and they carry a very different approach when it comes to accessing your applications while on the other hand some of the applications are uh, very handy and they bring some amazing features onto the table. Before making the review, I have spent uh, some time with all these launchers so that I'm in a better position to review them and I've arranged them in the order 5 to 1 with 1 being the best. And before moving ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for all our future notifications. So with that being said, let's move ahead with the video. At number 5 we have the bubble launcher and this is one of the most unconventional launchers that you will find on play store. When you open this launcher you will find all your applications arranged in this kind of a haphazard manner and this is completely opposite to those launchers that tend to arrange your applications depending upon whether they are social media apps, utilities or productivity apps. But after using this launcher for a while I felt that I was very easily able to locate the applications, I was very easily able to reach out to them and the reason for this was that this launcher does not give you the ability to neither change the icon set and nor you can change the position of the icons. The only thing that you can do with your applications is that you can just, just tap and hold any app and you can just delete the app. The only thing that I miss in this application is the security feature because this launcher does not give you the ability to whether you can protect your apps using a pin or a password. So that is the only thing that is missing in this launcher. Apart from that a very wonderful application and totally a new concept from the developer. So definitely uh, do check it out. So at number 4 we have the UL 3D launcher and I have included this launcher because of its wonderful animations and 3D effects. And let me tell you that this is not the only launcher in this category, we, are, we already have the next launcher and the buzz launcher which are almost the same but I have included this launcher because it's something new in 2018. And as you can see that uh, all the animations and the 3D effects are really very buttery smooth although the wave effect is my favorite one apart from that you can try out this no effect and the snow flakes effect and many more there is also this very unique perspective effect in this launcher and i haven't came across any other application that shows the perspective effect so well so the only drawback that i noticed in this application is that there is a there isn't any kind of a security feature that you can add you cannot uh, secure our apps using your pin or a password but apart from that the launcher is really very simple to use and uh, it's for those people who love to have animations if you will go into the app drawer then this launcher gives you the ability to arrange your apps in alphabetical order or from newest to oldest or oldest to newest and on the top you have been given this search bar uh, from where you can arrange your applications apart from that you can also create uh, some folders here and there and this launcher does not have really many other uh, I mean lot of features to play around with so a very simple application and for those who love to have animations and 3D. So at number 3 we have the Windows 10 launcher and this launcher works in both portrait and the landscape mode but I think as this is a Windows 10 emulation setup so uh, the, be the best way to use this launcher is to use in the landscape mode. So as you can see that on the left we have this kind of a home button which uh, opens up this kind of a Windows 10 dashboard. It gives you the all the applications uh, onto the left which are there in your phone and then you have uh, beside that you have this kind of a search option where you can search anything that is into your phone or directly onto the web. So overall, uh, I would say this launcher reminds me of the old HTC Windows phones that used to come with a stylus. Um, but the only difference is that those Windows phones were really very buttery smooth. And uh, But here in this case, I think the launcher is little bit buggy. But uh, overall it gives you the same uh, Windows experience. Although in my opinion I'm, I would definitely not use this launcher because I am really not used to this kind of a setup. But for those people who love to have a Windows phone or who like to use a Windows kind of a emulation in their phones then this is the launcher for you. So at number 2 we have this AIO launcher. As you can see that this launcher has a really uh, very unique layout and uh, it really packs a lot of information right on your home screen. So as you can see that on the top it displays the amount of RAM that your phone has and the, also the amount of battery. And below as you move down you will see that it organizes your last apps in this kind of a colorful fashion. Further when you move down you have your all the last dialed calls. Further when you move down below you can have a look at your latest SMS, below that you have been given a dialer, your messages and your settings. So and overall I would say the developer has really prioritized 
uh, different kind of applications and uh, you, as you can see that your last seen applications are on the top then you have your dialer so there is also a certain kind of a order depending upon the priority of the application further when you will move down you can you have different kind of uh, calendars and your social media feeds and below that you have some stock information and of course there is a full version of this application that you can buy if you are wondering where are your apps then you need to swipe from left to right and there it gives a list of different kind of applications that are there in your phone so overall a very unique launcher and a totally a new concept so definitely do give a try to this app so finally at number one we have the flick launcher and uh, when you look at this launcher at first instant it seems very ordinary and uh, somewhat similar to the nova launcher but this ordinary looking launcher comes with some very extraordinary features that i would like to share with you so the first feature that i want to talk about is the ability to open play music app as soon as you insert your headphone jack and not just the play music app you can configure the action for to open any other app as soon as you insert your 3.5 mm jack and this feature turned out to be very handy for me whenever i was using aux cable while driving in my car so the second feature that i want to talk about is the ability to secure apps by just using your fingerprint and something very good about this feature is that it does not give you the alternate option to open the apps by inserting a pin or a password or a pattern or things like that so in this way this feature or this launcher really becomes personal to the person who is actually using it before moving ahead let me tell you that this application has two versions one is the free one and other is the paid one and some of the very unique features that i've shown you just now are only available in the pro version so you need to buy the pro version for accessing these wonderful features this launcher also has a flick integration or the google now integration support where you can just swipe from left to right of your phone and have access to these kind of google feeds so in a way let me tell you that this launcher has everything that you can imagine um, as an app and i would say this is one of the complete app that i have found so far apart from that if you want features like double tap to screen lock then that is also present there and for those of you who like to customize a lot then let me tell you that after nova launcher this is the only launcher i found uh, in which every feature of nova launcher is already there apart from these one of apart from these unique and amazing features so friends this was all about the video i hope it was very worth watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching a lot of tech